Welcome to, This Bitch, with Sarah Weinshank and Kim Congdon. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of This Bitch Podcast. <laughs> We're live at the Hive here at the Comedy Store Studios. I'm Kim Congdon. And I'm Sarah Weinshank. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into it. <laughs> What's up, Shanky? Uh, not much. It's- ah! Sorry. Whoa. A little accident. A little accident. I think I need to stop drinking the Red Bull in the clear container because people have a lot to say about it. Why? What do they say? Well... It looks like I'm drinking alcohol, one. Okay, so. Two, it just like, it looks like dehydrated piss, if I'm being honest. So what? It's visually repulsive. So what? Let her drink her Red Bull. Let me drink my Red Bull. Mommy needs to get energized. Mommy needs to be up so the podcast is good. If mommy's not up, the podcast ain't good. (laughs) We might need to take the Red Bull away from her, actually. (laughs) I don't know. How many have you had? This is my first one. I've been nursing it. Uh, Yeah. It's, it's rare. It's rare that I nurse a bull. You know, I normally just throw Ew, back. A it's rare that I nurse a bull. <laughs> is nuts. My tits look huge today. Oh, we're getting views, honey. Oh yeah, we're getting. The views. tits are out today. The girls are out. The girls are out. Wow. Well, we look like oh, I'm we just, look like wet nurses. We lo- <laughs> we'll breastfeed for you. <laughs> we do like we breastfeed for people. <laughs> Doesn't that look like? Yeah, look, we look like. How a, much do you get paid to breastfeed for? Yeah, someone? can we, can we see look that, that up? <laughs> I'll get pregnant right now. Yeah. And I know you can sell your milk on the black market. Your breast milk. How many ounces do you want? I don't... Okay, wait. You want a half ounce of milk? Dude, wet n- nurses earn between 31000 and 41000 In LA, though, you want these gluten-free prime breast milk? Ew. you're going to have to pay no, gluten-free $100,000. Pr- yeah, no. the average wet nurse in LA makes... 93,000. That's not bad. Dude, that's not bad. We should just become wet nurses. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. I just, you, just gotta hold a perfect baby all day? Yeah, dude. How often, what's, a ner- what's the hours of a wet nurse? It's probably all day. Wet it's, nurse job description. Let's well, see it. It's, it. A lot of people get wet nurses when they have uh, surrogates mm-hmm. because then one. To th- one what? every three hours. Oh shit! Or so even you're... every hour in the first few days. Oof. And sometimes your boobs hurt when it happens. I no, think. yeah, it's probably like any other job where it sounds great, and then you get down the clock, and you're like, "I didn't know my nipples would be chafing." Yeah. I didn't think about this. I could have made a, you're qu- in a quick else. hundro down at the store. What am I doing here? Yeah, yeah. you're like well, suddenly bagging groceries doesn't sound too bad. <laughs> And you have to be lactating someone, at all times. And you have to be in someone else's house constantly with them. Oh. So you're not in your own home. And you have to, like, go in and feed this baby. But all you do is feed it. All you Like, do you is- literally feed it. And that takes, like, 20 minutes each time. And you probably work really hard for, like, the first year. And then you could even take a year off. Maybe not a year off, but you could take I some think, time off. I think you have to, like, hold out until the baby stops doing that. I think you, it's a three-year commitment. So people breastfeed for three years? Sometimes three years is what, what's the oldest long. baby breastfeeding? There's like five year olds that breastfeed. That's disgusting. I know a child named Charlotte Spink is considered the oldest known kid to have breastfed. Sharon Spink, a mother of four, argued that nursing daughter Charlotte up until earlier than 10 years old was normal, which solidified their relationship for the rest of their lives. Ew, I'm bonded with my mom, and she didn't, she That's wasn't breastfeeding me when I was 10. That's too old. I think, look, it you says can't. at least six months. I'll do it for that. Yeah. Six months seems like a good. I'd wet six nurse for six. To a year. I'd wet nurse for six. <laughs> WN for six. <laughs> WN for six. Dude, being a wet nurse, wow. That's a good t shirt, wet nurse. Wet nurse. The jingle of the juice. <laughs> I can't. That's me just doing What's the wet another nurse job shimmy? that sounds easy. I was going to say porn, but that's not true. No, porn sounds exhausting. It's, you're taking on all your different energies all the time. Porn seems exhausting. exhausting. Xavier, Every you've worked in porn. Sore. Are the girls exhausted? Oh, yeah. Every hole is sore. Is yeah. it dramatic? Like, what are some... What's 
Do people cry? What, what can you, um, some, are there some, tears in porn? So, some people cry. Some people cry. Some people are like... Uh, after it's done, they cry. Sometimes, like in the middle. Sometimes, like, like, well, like, because it's That's like, a sad. big thing to be like, oh, you can. See They're like, get it. Anytime. People are gonna love this shot. Keep close to our tears. <laughs> Xavier's not like under the tear, ready to catch it. <laughs> oh, this girl's dear. like, I miss being home and having a job. <laughs> oh, dude, I know. I used to do uh, behind the scenes stuff, and then it, it would sometimes it would get like that. They'd be like, I used to be in the military. Like my life was so different. I'd be like. Th- that's enough. Thanks. <laughs> that's enough. Thing. Not, not our baby. Not the Barbie King King. And baby. that'll do, pig. No, that'll do, pig. <laughs> I used to be in the military. We don't need your whole backstory. Listen, honey, just suck the dick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Listen, honey, if you can just suck on that cock, dude. Porn's crazy. I'd, I'd love to be a porn director. I think I could direct a good porn. An artfully shot porn. Yeah. Like I, it would be fun. I want to do making no budget. I want to do making love porn, <laughs> and there's no budget. Yeah, I want to like spend hundreds of thousand millions on making love porn. Yeah, I'm gonna do you making love making porn. Love People porn telling porn each other empire? they love each other and just having sweet sex and going like, uh, and then it ends. <laughs> no, I don't like that. Uh, yeah. And then it uh. ends. <laughs> I don't like that. Just a little tiny, the tiniest of comes. Direct eye contact. Yeah, direct eye contact. <laughs> Just people who have been in relationships only. We need genuine connection or nothing. Whoa. That's the porn. I think that's my porn company that. called Genuine Connection. <laughs> the GC porn. This has been a GC production. GC uh, production. <laughs> <laughs> GC uh, productions. GC love you. Productions. <laughs> Yeah, that's my porn. Love making porn. Love making porn. Yep. They have that. Like they have like female <laughs> friendly. They have like <laughs> they have like like for women porn. Yeah. That's like kind of more love making mm-hmm. than I've watched it. Yeah, it's like the better four, porn. Like it, the number. Huh? I thought you were saying four women like the number. Oh. Four. <laughs> oh no. They make those guys. They have four women porn. <laughs> they have four women porns. I've seen those. <laughs> yep, they do. <laughs> What happened? I thought there was something in here, but then there wasn't. And then I just looked crazy. So I was trying to play it off. And then you said what happened. And then I had to catch everyone up on what happened. Thank you. Yeah. We're all caught up now. Thank you so much for that. What do you think you were in a past life? Definitely a fish of sorts. Really? Some sort of sea creature. Yeah. Why do you think that? I don't know. I think I was like, well, I was a tree once. For Why sure. do you think you were a tree one? I don't know. I felt like I've been a tree. Like what kind? Like one in a tropical place. Like a palm tree or like um like a mangrove tree probably. I probably oh, yeah, have I mean, been a mangrove tree. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Yeah. Those are special trees. They're special trees. Yeah. If you see a mangrove tree, you know you're about to have a fun day. Yeah. That's a tall tale sign Look, of a fun this day. Is, this is... Tall tale? Tell tale. Tell tale. Tall tale is like a folk story. Yeah. Tell... Paul Bunyan's a tall a tale. A tell tale. Tell Like I'm telling the tale. Yeah. Tell tale sign. <laughs> tell tale sign. Okay. Which one of the, okay. Do you want to take this past yes. life quiz? Okay. okay. You go first. Which one of these elements do I feel more connected with? Spirit, water, earth. Should we just do one in a different tab and do them at the same time? Oh, okay. Okay. That's a good idea. Yeah. We'll both take this past life quiz. Um, I feel more connected with water, I think. See. Shank. The moon. Uh, yeah, the moon. Okay. The okay. The, the dying. In the, I want to see how I died in my past life too. I'm not gonna lie. Do you leave? <laughs> do you believe in magical slash paranormal creatures? So this one's for Kim. Um. Well. Do you? Believe yes, in- I believe in aliens and spirits. Aliens and spirits for Kim, and then for Shane. I believe in fairies. <laughs> Do you? It, yeah. You think as is embarrassing real? it is to say. You think they're real? Yes. I love that. Which objects remind you of your bedroom snives and satanic symbols? A mattress, stars that shine in the dark peso on my walls, my incense aquarium with my fish in it. The stars. If we're talking childhood bedroom, yeah. The stars that glow on the wall. Okay, wait, mine. Um, Here's just probably your incense. Yeah, probably. Not me knowing your your past life. 
Imagine you are in danger because of a man and you have a pistol. What would you do? I would hide, and when he at least expects it, dead. It depends. Maybe I would kill him, maybe I won't. I would hit him but not kill him and then run away. I would kill the man no matter what, and then I would drink his blood. <laughs> I would hesitate, and then I would kill him. Sometimes I hate men. I pick that one. <laughs> I also pick that one. Sometimes I hate men. I pick that one. That one's funny. <laughs> this is a nuts quiz, by the way. This is the most unhinged. When you are alone with your mind, what do you usually imagine? I am imagine I am with my lover. I imagine I'm in a spacecraft traveling the universe. I imagine I'm swimming. Literally, that one is mine. Swimming in the sea, talking, talking to, to the fish. fish. Yeah, that's about right. Shank, what about you? I imagine I'm surrounded by fairies and I'm singing, talking, and dancing with them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what no. What do you think is more romantic? Eating with your lover in a magical big garden with the light of the moon, one bedroom and candles, lying down in the grass at night with your lover with the moon and the stars, at the beach at night with him, roaming with your partner in the dark. I think the first one was really romantic. Me too. <laughs> Eating with your level in a ma- lover in a magical, in a magical garden? big garden. Yeah, dude. Get me in there now with my lover. What else have we got? What is the natural element that you feel more connected to? Air, earth, every element, water, fire. Think fire. Right. They already asked us this. No, they didn't. So, Kim, water. water. And then Shank. Fire. Fire. Not my girl connecting with fire. Have you ever seen your aura? I don't think so. I think I have seen it. No, but I would like to someday. I think I have seen it. This is just like, get help. <laughs> it comes up. <laughs> we both need therapy. It's like a better help ad. Do you believe in the afterlife? Which one of these answers is your opinion? Only God knows reincarnation and then we die twice. We go to paradise. I don't believe Do in the afterlife. Neverland hell. I don't know. I think I don't think we only die twice and then go to heaven. When we die twice, we go to paradise. I do believe in reincarnation. Yeah, I would choose I reincarnation out of all these weird answers. Neverland? Michael Jackson's there? What a nightmare. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you die and Michael Jackson's there? <laughs> He's like, I've been waiting. How do you consider yourself magical and cheerful, funny, freaky, and intelligent, sexy, and friendly? Friendly for women. Normal, oh, is that lesbian? <laughs> I'm going to do funny, freaky, and intelligent. I'll do the same. <laughs> I'll take that one. This is humiliating. This is <laughs> this, like, this like, test. It seems like it's never ending. It's like, yeah. it's like, do you believe it, in And it's fairies? only 15 questions, and I'm like, what, when is it going to end? end? What is the goal that you want in life? I want to sing for all the creatures, comedian or scientist. Why is it comedian <laughs> or scientist? One of those. I guess it's comedian or scientist. Unfortunately, I would like to sing all the creatures. <laughs> <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> I guess if it's one or the other. Have you ever felt you don't belong here? I've always felt I belong to the sea, Kim. <laughs> yeah, that one's me. I know the the ones I belong to the stars is mine. Give Sarah the stars and give me the seas and let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Which Two activity more. draws you in the most? Exploring ancient ruins and historical sites, expressing yourself through artistic endeavors. Engaging in intense physical challenges. Hell no. Engaging Art- in deep philosophical conversations. Artistic endeavors. Same. Thank you. I hope we were both were the same thing in a past life. <laughs> I have a feeling we're not. <laughs> Why? Because I, I picked know. fairies and you picked aliens? Yeah. Which scenario appeals to you the most? Meditating under a serene tree, embarking on a daring expedition, creating a masterpiece in solitude, well, engaging in a lively good. debate or discussion. I think meditating under the serene tree for me. And then our- creating a masterpiece in solitude. <laughs> that is my meditating. Creating a masterpiece in solitude. Which historical era resonates with you the most? Ancient Egypt or Mesopotamia? Renaissance, medieval Europe, industrial Let's go revolution. Renaissance. Yeah, I'd go same. Okay, so whose is that? Okay, so this one right here. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay, no. No. Yes. No. Wait, did the other one work? Fairy. You got fairy. Yeah. What the hell? All right, let me see if I can just speed run Kim. Really Why back. would it do that? It glitched. Why is Aliens. Kylie Jenner in the middle of the quiz now? And why does it ask that every question? I, I got a fairy in a past life. 
Dude, fuck this quiz. I want to know what All you right. are, but now this is frustrating. This is really frustrating. This is why you don't go online and take f- fucking quizzes on well, a whim to find out your past life. Why can't we just have checked in with our own intuition and talked about our past lives? Uh, yeah, I guess. Because do you feel like you were a fairy in your past life? Flies Any, away. Anything else? Flies away. <laughs> you just flutter away softly. <laughs> um, anything else? I think I was a 1950s housewife. Okay. Mm, those two things. You just think you were a housewife and a fairy. <laughs> yeah. That's it. I think you were like an alcoholic industrial worker. You do? <laughs> I think you were something so opposite of what you were. Really? That you would never expect it. Really? There's something different in you. I was you. a candle maker. A candle maker. <laughs> yeah, something like. <laughs> something weird. Not alcoholic. Alcoholic's not right. But like something like you would, that is, uh, yeah, a candle maker. Like something like. You so... made swords and you fucked women. Like <laughs> there's like, there's something different about you in there too. It's, yeah, not, just, it's, not, all so... no, it's not all fairy and housewife. It's not all fairy and housewife. You're not all fairy and housewife, okay? <laughs> There's something you were like a a romantic sword maker or something. I could see that. I could see that for you. Or I could also see myself being like um like a cobbler. The pie? No, like a shoe <laughs> a blacksmith. No, you you could have been a blacksmith. A blacksmith? I could see that. Yeah. Yeah, a brownsmith? A locksmith? You got a fairy too. <laughs> no. Yes, yeah, sister. Our soul hides magical fairy. It's possible for us to be a fairy in our past life. You love to sing and dance everywhere you go like you were shining. You have two sides, like all creatures, light and a dark. A psychic also told me I was a fairy. Really? You are in the middle of those yeah. two, but at times you fall on the light side. I feel that. Did you get the same fairy description? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. We're both two just fairies in and a And we're dressed like it, too. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It makes a lot of sense. In past lives, we were fairies. God, we got that out of the way. What the <laughs> hell? My nephew told my sister that um, he, one time they were passing a guy with a motorcycle. Uh-huh. And he told my sister that he used, he's six, that he used to have one of those when he was 50, but he crashed into a ditch and that's why he's here now. No. Yeah. Carson? Yeah. No. That's what he told my sister. When? He, when they, my sister said like a few months ago they were driving by a motorcycle and my nephew was like, I used to have one of those. And she was like, you did? And he was like, yeah, when I was like 50, but I crashed into a ditch. Now I'm here. And then didn't say anything else. Do I want him to like, could he find a picture of himself? I don't know. I don't know. Well, like, do you, uh, I would have been asking him so many questions. Me too. I would have been like, what was your name? (laughs) Where were you from? I would have been one of those Reddit moms. Like, my son claims he's Theodore (laughs) Ruxtenbong from 1852. (laughs) And I think he really is. Yeah. That's what I would have done too. Yeah. I would have been questioning. Did April ask any questions? I don't think so. I think she was just weirded out and was like, okay. But I'd want to know. That just gave me goosebumps. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, dude. We like, can, do you have... I can ask him if he remembers. I can try and call and ask him. Right now? Yeah, should I? We can cut this out if it doesn't work. Hold on. Let's see. I saw one kid that, like, he was, like, Picasso, right? Like, he, like, knows everything about Pablo Picasso. Oh, really? Or, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bitch. <laughs> Okay, three-year-old recalls the past life murder, identifies killer, and locates his body. A three-year-old boy what? not only Is remembers his real? murder in the past life, but also recognizes his killer. In a shockingly surreal incident, a three-year-old boy has not only... Okay. The boy who belongs to the Druze ethnic group in the Golan Heights region near the Syrian and Israeli border has a long red birthmark on his head and claims that he was murdered with an axe. According to Drew's beliefs, according to Drew's beliefs, birthmarks are related to past lives, deaths. Do Whoa. you have any? Yeah. Where? On my knee. I wonder what happened to you. Suck Keanu Reeves' dick to death. <laughs> <laughs> That's another pod, but. Oh, yeah. Um, according. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Go up. Yeah. Okay. Birthmarks are related to past life deaths. And when the boy was old enough to talk, he told his family that he had been killed with an axe blow to his head. Okay. Um, It is customary for Drew's elders to take a child at the age of three to the home of his previous life if he remembers it. 
That's crazy. The boy already knew the village he was from, and upon reaching the village, he also remembered his past life name. Village locals told the elders that the man who the boy was claiming to be a reincarnation of had gone missing be- gone missing before Whoa. four years. The boy also remembered the full name of his killer, who upon confrontation turned white and refused to admit the murder. The three-year-old then claimed that he could take the elders to where the very spot where the body was buried. On reaching the spot, they not only discovered the skeleton, but also the wound to the head, which was strikingly similar to the boy's birthmark. They also found that the axe that had killed the they also found the axe that had killed the boy in the previous life. The killer then had no option but to admit to the crime. The entire story has been documented in German therapist Trutz Hardo's book, Children Who Have Lived Before Reincarnation Today. We got to get that book. We got to get that book. That's nuts. That's that nuts. is nuts. He what do you, how do you think you got those three freckles? Are they just freckles and not birthmarks? Oh, that's a good question. Wait, where do I have a birthmark? Are freckles signs of a past life? Or is that from the sun? We're really getting to the bottom of things on this. I want to know what I. I want to know how I died. Just tripped me out. I want to know how I died in my past life. Are you, what are you really scared of? Maybe something with heights. You don't like heights. I hate heights. I don't love. I don't love heights. I really don't. Like- no, freckles are not a sign of a past <laughs> oh, life. Damn. They're caused by an increase in melanin. Freckles are where your lover kissed you in a past life. That's what That's we're talking right. about. Oh, he must have Little really cheeksies. loved you if he gave you a cheeksy kiss. Oh, my God. And right here on my forehead. <laughs> have you heard the theory that freckles are where your lover kissed you a lot in a past life? I always thought it was cute, but never put much weight into the idea. Two months ago, I was on vacation with my twin. I gave him a hug at one point, and he leaned his head down and kissed me on the shoulder. Okay, that's a little weird. <laughs> a, Maybe a brother had, and sister no, twin? I think I think she means like twin flame. No. Um, oh, twin flames, yes. Yeah, it's in a twin flame f- thread. Yeah. I, you could see I've been through the, the twin flame threads oh, myself. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a dark time when you're on the twin flames thread. Yeah. Let me tell you the It word. is. If you're even bringing up the word twin, twin flames, flame, you're not okay. You're not okay. You need yeah. to check in with someone immediately. But better help. Insert better back. help. Insert that. <laughs> All right, guys, let's take a second from the pod to talk about our sponsors. It's Mint Mobile. With big wireless providers, what you see is never what you get. Somewhere between the store and your first month's bill, the price you thought you were paying magically skyrockets. With Mint Mobile, you'll never have to worry about gotchas ever again. When Mint Mobile says $15 a month when you purchase a three-month plan, they mean it. Uh, You've seen my podcast before. I've talked about how everything's a scam. Nothing is real. You think you're going to get one thing, then you end up getting another. Yeah, in my experience, I've had AT&T and it's complicated. I look at the bill. I don't understand what these fees are, what these upcharges are. That's not the case here. You have to say bye-bye to your original wireless plans, jaw-dropping monthly bills and unexpected overages. Mint Mobile is here to rescue you with premium wireless plans starting at just $15 a month. All plans come with high-speed data and unlimited talk and text delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. That's really important. One time I lost all my contacts contacts. And I swear I'm still recovering from it. As a person with ADD, it's the worst thing that could ever happen to you. To get this new customer service offer and your new three-month premium wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash this B. That's mintmobile.com slash this B. Cut your wireless bill to $15 a month at mintmobile.com slash this B. $45 upfront payment required, equivalent to $15 a month. New customers on first three-month plan only. Speed slower above 40 gigabytes on unlimited plan. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See Mint Mobile for details. All right, guys, let's take a second from the pod to talk about our sponsors. It's Factor. Meet your wellness goals in time for summer thanks to the menu of chef-crafted meals with options like Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, and Keto. Factor's fresh, never-frozen meals are dietitian approved and ready to eat in just two minutes. So no matter how busy you are, you'll always have time to enjoy nutrients and great tasting meals. Make today the day you kickstart a new healthy routine. What are you waiting for? Um, I personally never, ever, ever want to cook or have the time for it. And I'm entirely lazy. And if I have extra time in the day, like everything's so busy. If I have an extra moment in the day, I just kind of want to chill. I'm sorry. I don't want to spend the whole time planning a meal, planning what's in it, planning around it. And that's why Factor is great. Make today the day you kickstart a 
new healthy routine. With 35 different meals and more than 60 add-ons to choose from every week, you'll always have new flavors to explore. You crush your wellness goals with this. Um, you can choose... I, I, I like to flop around. Sometimes I do keto. Sometimes I'll do high protein. Sometimes I'm calorie counting. Catch me on different days. You have so many choices with factor. Keep kitchen time to a minimum. Treat yourself to restaurant quality meals that feature premium ingredients like filet mignon. That one's my favorite. Shrimp and blackened salmon. Blackened salmon's bomb too. Their uh, meals are ready in two minutes. No shopping, prepping, cooking, or cleaning up. Enjoy effortless support for your lifestyle. Choose from six menus and help uh, help you manage calories, uh, protein intake, avoid meat, or simply eat well at balance. Guys, are you getting enough protein? That's a struggle for me. That's why I love Factor. I, I just go outside and there it is, my black and salmon. Bang. Quick, easy protein. Okay? So head to factormeals.com slash thisb50 and use code thisb50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month. That's code thisb50 at factormeals.com slash thisb50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month while your subscription is active. All right. Let's get back in the show. <laughs> okay. And we're back. And um, we're back. <laughs> Um, yeah, if eat. you're Googling Twin Flames on Reddit. I heard when I was younger that the places you have freckles are where angels kissed you. That yeah. one I've heard. I've heard yeah, that Yeah, and then I remember my sister crying because she had a, a freckle on her vagina. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like really upset about it. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. That is so funny. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> That's where she didn't like it. <laughs> she didn't like it. I'm getting eaten up by an angel. Yeah. yeah. That sounds, kiss, that kiss by, touched awesome. by an angel. Oh my God. Don't bring up touched <laughs> by an angel. By, I've never seen it. a sensitive subject for me. The girl, whose dad, the girl whose dad wrote touched by an angel was my bully. No. Yes. What? Yes. <laughs> You got you got bullied by the girl the the, the daughter the, of, the heir of touched by an, an angel? angel yeah bullied you yes so look it up someone Kaliri oh my he, look, he, so the way wrote, Sarah said it look it up Kaliri touched by an angel Kaliri no was it a guy C O was it a girl or a guy that bullied oh, you this is her dad C O L I don't even know what touched by an angel is it was a show about no it's um Kal it's C O L L why don't you just put touched by an angel and then we'll see oh, who yeah, made let's it. Look, let's look at the, let's see. Instead of guessing the. Oh. Producer of Touched by an Angel, dude. His daughter used to bully you? Maggie, you fucking bitch. That, that. And then she friended me on MySpace years later and I DM'd her and said, you used to bully me. It's I will not be accepting your friend request. You really? And then they blocked her. No. Yeah. There she That's is. That's not her. Oh, it's not? No. Just because your dad was a producer on Touched by an Angel, you're going to be a bitch to me. So Touched by an Angel is a show about an angel who's doing search and rescue division. <laughs> yeah. Is that, and she's saving people. Is that? Am I getting that right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Nine seasons. God damn. Dude. They yeah. did their she, thing. She, nine seasons. Put that bitch right through tell Catholic you, school. This girl that I, we, her and I used to actually bully each other back and forth. <laughs> Okay. We were like each other's bullies, to be honest. But this girl, uh, it started because I was friends with her, and then I was dating this guy, and um, she was dating his little brother, who was a year younger. Okay. And we would be, we were like friends, but everybody was like, "Don't be friends with her. She's a snake." This was in high school. Okay. I was like, "Be careful." And then one day, her and her boyfriend broke up, and then my boyfriend told me she wrote him a letter asking to suck his dick. One, in a letter? one who asked in a letter. Wow! Can I please blow you? <laughs> Can I blow Sincerely? you? Sincerely, <laughs> XO, I dear Jimmy. I hope this letter finds you well. <laughs> I am offering the headiest of heads. I am known around these parts as the throat goat. <laughs> I'm I'm here to offer some neck. <laughs> No, it's, probably, it's like those like uh, those notes in high school are always just like about what you're doing. It's like, hi, I'm just sitting here right now, and I'm thinking. <laughs> they are. I'm sitting right now thinking of you. Are you think wondering if you're thinking of me? I Anyways, can't wait for spring break. Can't wait for the beach this weekend. We're gonna get crunk. <laughs> oh my god, crunk is so cringe. <laughs> We're gonna get crunk this weekend. Anyways, Lila's. Oh my god, is that a bar or a friend? Lila's. What's Lila's? That's oh. us. I love you. 
What's Lila's? It stands for something. L Y L A S. No idea. Guess it. Stop throwing out acronyms. Try, and pr- guess me- it. L Y L A S. I don't know. Ladies? You got you got the first one. What? Love you. Oh, I love, love you. Love you like a sister. Who pulled it up? <laughs> the baby. I like that she you said it like she it. solved it too. Love you like a sister. <laughs> I did. And turn around, it's behind me on a big screen. <laughs> it felt good to have the Lila's. Answer. You've never heard of Lila's? What about Pemdas? No. Oh wait, that's not the one. <laughs> yeah, I think that's that's a math, math one. Yeah. <laughs> um, Are you uh, thinking of acronyms and yeah. quizzing me? Was that one? No hack ass. It's like hags. Have a good summer. Yeah. Have, have a, a good summer. summer. Have like a kick ass summer. Oh, KIT. Hags. Keep in touch. KIT, I remember. KIT. Dude, remember getting a hot guy to sign your yearbook? Was like the scariest thing ever. Like, Do you think you could maybe sign this? And he just writes his name. You're like, oh. I thought you were going to write I thought about this all night. And, <laughs> <laughs> and you just wrote your name? <laughs> just a simple name? That's it. This isn't a cast, motherfucker. I want a note. No, I need a note. I need, I need note. to know what's going on in your life. I need to be able to look back. Do you have any of your yearbooks? Oh, yeah, dude. I found I could bring it in, but one, I signed my own yearbook. <laughs> I found you used to practice signing your name. Yes, but I found like my, autograph. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I well, feel like we have everyone the same did. mental illness. No, I think that's I don't just think a, everyone he, does that. I think everyone in the do entire world do that? has done that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I practice signing right now. I think it's a very common experience. Okay. I thought I thought that we were unique fairies <laughs> no. from our past life, but <laughs> practice signing our name. So I just let me have I'm that. I'm sorry, sister. I just know that I remember watching almost every student I n- ever met in my life practice their signature. Can you write with your left hand well? I'm left-handed. <laughs> it's like I've never known you. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. That makes so much sense. Why? Because. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm just like, that explains some things. What? One, I feel like you're really good at fixing things. I feel like that's a left-handed thing. You're very creative. Can we well, look up left-handed, left-handed versus right-handed people and see what's going on with us? <laughs> versus right-handed. Let's see. Left-handers' brains are stri- constructed differently. Whoa. Hold on. Already different. <laughs> In ways that cannot allow them to process language. Spatial that relations. can allow them to process language. And emotions. Sp- in more diverse and potentially creative ways. Also, a slightly n- larger number of left-handers than right-handers are especially gifted in music and math. Well, definitely not either of those. So, it's uh, research to say low, steadily low percentage of lefties is a result of balance between coordination and competition in human evolution. Humans have... Long had an evolutionary need to cooperate, such as when sharing tools or hunting in groups. Okay, so there's a lot less left-handed people because all the right-handed people are working together and fucking. They're having <laughs> work wives and husbands at their right-handed jobs. No. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Handedness in the womb. Fetuses start to move their arms around 9 to 10 weeks. By early in the second trimester, the babies show a clear preference for sucking one thumb over the other. Wow. So handedness is probably hardwired before birth. Still, most development experts say parents likely won't get a good sense of their child's dominant hand until they are two or three. Many kids continue to switch hands for different tasks during early childhood. Okay, let me tell you something fucked up. I babysat for this little girl, and she was left-handed. And her parents would take the fork out of her hand and put it in the right hand and say, right hand only. No. And she couldn't use her right hand because she was left-handed. And they were like, it's bad that she's left-handed. Why? I don't know. They were like old school, like the grandma was crazy, like those crazy rich. I felt like it was like child abuse. Can we look up what's wrong with left-handed people? Because I've heard this before, people trying to fix their left-handed children. But why? I don't know. It's Because my mom's left-handed. While left-handed people may face some challenges in a world that's light, that's largely largely designed for right-handed people, there's no right or wrong. Some studies have linked left-handedness to an increased risk of health such as allergies, immune disorders, myasthenia, gravis, u- ulcerative, ulcer, colitis. ulcerative colitis, and breast cancer. What? However, other studies found that left-handed people have lower rates of ulcers and arthritis. I, I have arthritis. So. <laughs> left-handed people may also have lower risk of developing, developing Parkinson's. Left-handed people may be at greater risk for mental health problems, such as schizophrenia, mood swings, restlessness, and neuroticism. 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 
neuroticism. For example, a 2013 Yale study found that 40% of patients with schizophrenia or schizoaffective disorder at a mental health clinic wrote with their left hand, which is higher than the 10% of left-handed people in the general population. Whoa. Oh, they're more likely to have ADHD. Dyslexia. That hits. Left-handed people may face challenges. Oh, my sister's calling. Using scissors. <laughs> yeah. Dude, my mom has left-handed scissors. I try to use those oh, with yeah. my right hand. I go, what the, what in the but fuck But I can is cut with my right hand. Hi. Do you have Carson with you? I wanted to ask him about the motorcycle. <laughs> okay, hold on. Just put him on. Carson. Hi, Coco. Hi, Coco. What are you doing? I don't know. I have a question. Have you ever owned a motorcycle? No. You never rode on one before? No. Not even when you were an old man? No. He's I'm not an old man either. Oh, you're not? Yeah, I'm just a kid. Oh, my bad. I thought you said one time you rode one before. Um, remember? No. He's, he's smiling. He's, he slipped past it already, like the movie Baby Geniuses. <laughs> What do you say? That was just a joke. Oh, okay. All right. Love you. I love you. I love you. Love you. Bye bye. Bye. You know he calls me now? What? He calls me. He goes, Oh, hey, it's the comedian. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. He said that was just a joke. Yeah. So fuck him. He's never been on a motorcycle in his life. He said, you should know about jokes. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, you have no sense of humor, bitch. I was kidding, obviously. Am I talking to the comedian? Because you obviously don't get it. He goes, oh, it's the, oh, is it the little comedian? He'll degrade me. No. <laughs> yeah, he'll go, it's the little comedian Coco. That's what he calls you? Yeah, he That's calls me so Coco. Cute. It's the little comedian Coco. Kids are so cute. Have you ever done something like, like after a breakup, make a big change to your appearance? Like dye your hair immediately. I remember. No, I've just gotten like fat or skinnier. Usually, I do. I do it with my weight, not really with my hair. Yeah, when you're so, when you're lovesick and you can't eat. The best, dude. I remember. It's, worse, it's better than best. a flu, dude. <laughs> dude, it's better than a flu. When, when I got are... cheated on, I didn't eat for literally. I don't think I had a meal in like three and a half or four days. Like I didn't eat anything, and I looked so good, so good. So and then good. you start getting happy again, but you're like, am I happy? Because I I don't want to lose this Dude, bot. it was hitting, yeah. When you start getting happy again, you go out to eat, you go, oh, God, I need someone else to cheat. Yeah, <laughs> no. I'm getting fat again. Oh. I need another cheater. No. <laughs> yeah, I got really skinny. I also got really depressed after my high school breakup and lost 10 pounds. My mom asked me if I was suicidal. <laughs> no. Because I'd gotten so skinny. She was like, you need to eat. And I was like, I can't. I have no love. I, that's that's me too. Yeah, I'm like, too. Oh, my love left me. How could I eat at a time like this? That's how I am. It's I'm like dramatic. so dramatic. I'm in bed. I have one hand yeah. on the pillow like this. Yeah, and that's how I know if I if sometimes when I just bounce back, I go, I don't really like him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I if lost you, two pounds. I was sad for about three days. And then uh, two weeks later, I was skipping around like honey, it never happened. Honey, if you made me lose two pounds after a breakup, I never liked you in the first place. <laughs> yeah. You should know that. You should know that. Uh, I like that good breakup. Nothing's better than a breakup that's needed. It does. It like feels the worst. Yes. But like a fucking breakup that's necessary. <sighs> It hits after. During after. it don't. But after? I was just telling them about how I had an ex who I, he was going to be out of town during the weekend. And I said, hey, can I move out while you're out of town during the weekend? And he said, no, you have to be out in 48 hours. I, I remember I this. I don't trust you at home with my stuff. <laughs> I'm like, bitch, I never took anything. No. That yeah. was mean. It was like I had, to, I had to race to move out because I didn't want to be with him anymore. Yeah. No, he wanted you out in 48 hours. He wanted quick me out hours. in 48 hours. 48 hours is crazy after moving someone in. For, give, him, give him a week. And you're going to be gone all weekend. Yeah. So I could do it slowly while you're not there. Yeah. A 48 countdown? No. I had such bad Was he watching you move too? Yes. And no. He was on the phone laughing with his friend. No. What was he <laughs> saying with his friend? I heard, I literally heard his friend say, what about that other girl? <gasps> And then he's like, yeah, well, I don't know. Like, something like that. Like, I haven't heard, I don't think she's messaged me in a minute. And then, like, 
two weeks later, he was with that other girl. No. And I did not see that coming. <laughs> I wish we could talk about how you used to fall asleep. What? How, what, you, what video you used to fall asleep after that breakup. Oh, yeah, no, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we cannot. <laughs> Please, it's so funny. <sighs> we can't say it without saying it. Okay. Okay, so the girl that he moved in would make videos. She would make videos in the same studio that, that, I, that I was using <laughs> at first. So it was like it, he just like swapped out a person and put a new person in. <laughs> yeah, and it was like an ultra universe you. It was like a alternate fat titty <laughs> like mommy milkers like a mommy milkers alternate universe sarah and and sarah would watch the videos and fall asleep to them at she was so boring <laughs> she was so boring it was like she started using them as white noise i was like i was like like regularly like fully past the breakup in still, another relationship still sleeping falling asleep to this girl every night she was like so, she puts she, me to sleep i don't know she puts me straight to sleep like at first it was like oh let's see this person living my old life and then it became something else where i was like <laughs> this is like this is like a little night quilt it always becomes something else i was there? like night night that's so funny. If you have an insomnia, remember I'm when do she it. remember when she did a video one time and she had the mug you bought him. She was sipping out of yeah, it. Yeah, she was sipping out of it with her big titties. She's yeah. like she's like, "Hi everyone, thanks for entering the chat." <laughs> Good to see she you did. too, chat. She Good odd to see you too. Chase. You know that woke her up <laughs> when like, she saw that mug. That would wake oh, me up. Oh, but that was his Valentine's Day gift. No. <laughs> yeah. That's dark. That's dark. He also bought you a Peloton. No, he already had the Peloton. But didn't he gift it to you and say you could have it because he had two? No, he had two Dysons. Oh, but he wouldn't gift you one. No. Even when you were dating. Even when we were dating. That's so crazy. He's a guy and he had to keep both of the... He had two Dysons. Air up. We know which ones. Everybody knows the Dyson. It's every woman's dream to own that Dyson. Yeah. He had, he had two. two. <laughs> Why are you trying to hurt me by bringing up the I'm not trying to pack? hurt you. I just, I just, can't, I'm shocked at him. What kind of man has two Dysons and needs both? He don't barely have hair. No, he had hair. Yeah, but it's a man hair. Men no, but don't he need was to weird. do their he hair. He was weird with his hair. Some guys get weird with their hair. It's a whole fucking thing, dude. My stepdad gets weird with his hair. He does. Yeah, he's very. He's very into. Well, because he's in a band. Yeah. He has like a thing going. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. yeah. He, the comeback kid needs to look good. You can't <laughs> be in the comeback kid and looking like shit. You're right. You're right. The yeah. comeback kid needs to look good. He's a good. performer. Yeah, you're right. He's an artist. He's an artist. <laughs> yeah, that's true. God. Could you date someone in a cover band? Yeah. <laughs> Chelsea Skidmore's mom is dating um, a guy that plays, I think, Mick Jagger in a Rolling Stones cover band. That sounds fun. Band. <laughs> yeah. That sounds fun. You get to go there. You get to be the groupie. Girlfriend, woo! The drinks all come in those clear plastic cups. Uh, yeah, and they're the all red like red. Solo. Yeah, and red with the cherries in them and the little umbrellas. And they're singing by the water. Doesn't Sounds it sound fun. fun to go to a party that you you don't have to plan or clean up? What I'm saying is, I want to get invited to a party. Do you? I'm feeling it, that vibe right now. You want to get invited to a party? What kind of par- party? I don't are know. You like maybe like a theme party. A themed party? Mm-hmm. Like what kind? Like denim and diamonds, or the last thing I want right now is another thing to dress up for. <gasps> really? God, I'm sick of it. You love it. You love, love having love a reason it. to dress up. I like would just rather be in like a giant fucking hoodie at my house. Well. I will say that my favorite part of coming home is taking off the outfit and putting on the sweats. Yeah. I like, I when I'm home, I'm not in an outfit. Yeah, I just hate having to pick one out to go out. It's not my I, passion. I get off on that. I know you do. I'm like, what should I wear? She literally comes when there's a new event. I'm like, uh, anyways. Um, yeah. I know, I need to be invited to an event. A masquerade masquerade is that like i don't know masquerade gives orgy yeah like eyes wide shut orgy but yeah i don't think i would do well at like an orgy like a no. like a sex party i would i wouldn't do well and i feel like i'd be rude i at feel an like orgy. the smells would yeah, not be, be i would not plug be in my with... nose publicly in front of people every room i walked in i plug my nose i cover my eyes i'd have hand sanitizer 
Oh, your OCD at a sex party would oh, be. Oh God, that's literal. Your literal nightmare. What you sit I... so- somewhere's wet. Something's wet. Ah! You don't know what it is. Shut up! <laughs> All of a sudden, you're sitting on a wet no, couch, dude. I can't. And there's like half-dressed people walking around. And dude. you know the men that go that to there are the grossest. And you're sitting in the kitchen. You're just trying to eat a snack, and you hear a quiet. Your little pussy belongs. <laughs> to you. and you're like, oh my God, did that come from the living room? No. <laughs> Yeah, a sex party. <sighs> a sex party seems a little humid for me. It seems like I don't think I could be co- very confident at a sex party either. No, who who could? Like, like everyone's just fucking like openly. Yeah. And it took like, a while what? to get confident alone in sex. Yeah, with one other person. With one other person. <laughs> and even sometimes I'm like, is this right? I don't, can we put the lights off? Yeah. <laughs> Every Even once though in you've a, seen me naked five hundred five thousand, it is really weird being in a relationship. My boyfriend can see me naked all the time, but just sometimes I'm like, "Don't look at me." Yeah, I'm like that too. What is that? I'm like, I have to put on pants. Yeah, like, me too. Okay. Yeah, or I'll but walk around like in a towel covered, and he's like, "Anyways." Yeah, I don't know. And then other times I'm butt naked, but sometimes I'm really like, "Don't look." There's like, there's some bitches that just like walking around naked. Yeah. The ones with the good bodies. Yeah, I Fuck would those too. Bitches. Little fucking whores. <laughs> <laughs> little fucking sluts, dude. Cover it fucking... up, babe. Some girls go clit out. Noise! <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's our episode. Uh, thank you guys for listening. You can find me here every Monday, every Wednesday on Shank. Subscribe to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Sarah Weinshank. What about you? KimCongdon.com, patreon.com slash Kim Congdon, Magic Prank Show on Netflix, Childless Milf on YouTube. Um, and you know, buy tickets, support the pod, share with a friend. We love you. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.